You can start, if it feels good for you to do so, by closing your eyes. I'm going to close mine as I move into this moment of collaborative creation. So now allow yourself to be right where you are and to experience yourself being right where you are, right here, right now. And notice that you are nowhere else except right where you are. And give yourself permission to observe what that feels like what it feels like in your mind and in your body and in your soul to be right here right now and nowhere else to pull yourself out of your memories and to extract yourself from your thoughts of the future and to focus your attention on the fact that the past and the future do not exist, but that all that truly exists is this eternal moment called right here, right now. And to pay attention to what it feels like in your body to be here now. Focus on the bottoms of your feet and look to see what it feels like to be right here, right now. What it feels like for the bottoms of your feet to be touching the floor or the chair you're sitting on if you're sitting on your legs and they're crossed or wherever your feet are meeting any other surface at all. Just, just kind of look at what that feels like give yourself permission to notice how your feet feel right here, right now. Good. Now allow yourself to travel upward in your body by focusing your attention on your legs and what do your legs feel like right now and if there's any part of your body that is not totally comfortable right now in the way you're sitting or lying let yourself shift your weight or move around in any way that you wish that can allow you to feel more comfortable and more completely present for this experience. And now moving upward in your body to your heart chakra and feeling what it feels like in your heart and in, in that emotional center of your being that we call your heart chakra. And just noticing that feeling. Good. And now just move within your attention to your crown chakra, to the top of your head and kind of like looking down on your whole body with your third eye and feeling what it feels like in the totality of your experience to be sitting right here right now. or lying here if you're lying on the floor or on a bed or on some other surface.
and notice that this moment is today and it's not yesterday and it's not tomorrow and it has nothing to do with yesterday or tomorrow and notice something else about this moment as well notice that in this moment nothing more is needed or required or wanted or desired in order for this moment to be just fine to be totally okay in fact to be absolutely perfect but nothing more needs to be added to this particular slice of the time of your life than what is here right now in order for this single moment to be absolutely okay with you. And so breathe into the okayness of that. Allow yourself to silently and gently experience the perfection of this moment. Noticing that nothing more is ever required than that which is right here, right now, in order for every one of our now moments to be just fine. And now in the presence of this sweet perfection. We join together in the focusing of our attention on the experience of human leadership. A particular point of focus for all of humanity at this point in time. Not just for those who live in the United States, where there is soon to be a national election creating, once again, national political leadership, but indeed across and around the world we notice that in varying places and in varying ways, humanity is both searching for, creating, producing, and experiencing levels of leadership, religious leadership, political leadership, economic leadership, educational leadership, environmental leadership, philosophic leadership, human leadership. And focus our attention now, may we please, on the whole human experience of leadership. Allow yourself in your mind's eye to simply place within the picture frame of your mind the image of the leader or leaders in the world of whom you are aware. Whether you agree with their leadership or disagree in content or in style to simply place on the movie screen of your mind the image of those leaders of whom you are aware. Give yourself permission to do that now. And it's okay if it's more than one person. It could be the president of a country or the prime minister. 
a spiritual leader such as the Pope or the Archbishop of Canterbury or the Chief Ulama. It could be a corporate chieftain, a head of some major company, or several of those people, and place them now all in the picture frame of your mind. And it might even be a leader closer to your home the pastor of your church, the spiritual leader of your congregation, whatever your faith tradition. It could even be the person providing leadership from time to time within your own family circle. And notice that as within your family circle, all around the world, the mantle of leadership changes. That is, the person who is taking the leadership steps, showing the way, can be different from time to time and moment to moment. But now let us focus on the quality of leadership and what we choose for all of those leaders who we have placed in the picture frame of our mind. And we call upon life to give all of those leaders, all of those people who have voluntarily and willingly stepped into leadership the strength and the courage, the wisdom and the insight, the understanding and the awareness to provide an opportunity for all those whom they would lead to step into their grandest self. Please use this moment to see the leaders whose images you have placed in the mental frame use this opportunity to surround those images with an aura of warmth and light an energy envelope if you will into which you have placed those qualities of leadership that you would grant to them wisdom and clarity, understanding and awareness, insight and vision, patience and compassion. And we join together collectively in this moment to provide our collective intent as part of the process by which we create our collective reality with regard to the experience called leadership. And so we grant those people who we have placed in the picture frame of our mind peace, deep peace, and continuing confidence in their own ability 
to shoulder the responsibilities that they themselves have called to themselves as they have stepped into and accepted the invitation of leadership. And at this time, we jointly declare that all negative aspects of the leadership experience will and shall be erased from their moment-to-moment -moment encounter with life. We declare that there is no need for those who have been good enough and generous enough and brave enough and well-intentioned enough to step into leadership, to provide leadership for the rest of us. No need for those people to have to endure the negativity and the attacks that leadership has so often invited, but rather and instead to draw to themselves like magnets, the peace, the serenity, the quiet and gentle confidence of one who has assumed willingly the responsibilities of leadership. We see them all as good people, wonderful human beings. We eliminate from our mental considerations any thought that any of them is somehow not okay. Even if we disagree with their point of view, we see and we acknowledge that their point of view and their ideas come from their highest current construction their grandest present vision, their own deepest personal conviction and understanding. And even if we disagree with what emerges from their perspective, we bless them for their courage in placing that perspective before the rest of us. as an invitation for us to step into some of the visions that have emerged from their own deep interior and very sincere personal process. We find ourselves no longer needing to condemn or to demonize even those leaders around the world with whom we dramatically disagree. We understand that no one, no one does anything inappropriate given their model of the world and that our only and our grandest opportunity is to project from deep within ourselves a model of the world that so touches the world that even those leaders with whom we disagree find themselves moving and acting in harmony with us. In so doing, by projecting such an energy from deep within ourselves, we ourselves provide spiritual leadership for all those whose lives we touch and for the world entire. And so on this day, as we contemplate the experience of leadership, we accept and embrace for ourselves our own role, the possibility of our own participation 
in the leadership experience. And we jointly and collaboratively, by means of this collective meditation, commit to providing our own personal leadership to the world around us. Good. And very good. And now we breathe in the strength and the courage that this joint decision collaboratively made provides for us. And we know that in the days and weeks, in the months and years immediately ahead, because of our commitment here made, life will present us with a perfect context within which to express and put that decision into action. And we welcome it. We welcome those occasions and those opportunities. Indeed, we call them forth, allowing ourselves to thus represent, that is to re-present, to present once again our own highest notion of what it means to be human and what it means to be a leader of humans wherever we go. We see that the confusion and the struggle, the challenges and the difficulties faced by others call out for leaders for messengers, for models, for those who would stand as an opportunity, an example, and an invitation to the rest of us. And we accept that opportunity. We accept that invitation. At this time, an election of enormous importance in the United States we elect ourselves as a leader within the community whose lives we touch. We agree to it and we jointly embrace ourselves in that role. And so we say yes. Together we say yes. Even as we bless those others who we have placed in the picture frame of our mind as leaders around the world. All of us now nominate and elect ourselves. And we bless all the rest who have chosen to do the same. And because we have offered our blessings, we find that so it is, even and exactly as we have described. And now when it feels good and proper to do so, Allow yourself to breathe gently and normally and to return to this present moment of full awareness and total presence. Until next time, I'm Neil. Bye for now.